Longtime followers and viewers will know exactly what this parcel at this time of year means. And you know why I've got all these iPhones, because it's iPhone 15 dummy time. Now every year I get contacted by a factory in China saying, we know what the iPhone this year is going to look like. We know exactly what it's going to look like. In fact, we've made a dummy version. And the reason they reach out to people is because they want to sell cases. They want to sell these dummies and then case manufacturers uh, buy these dummies so that they can make cases ready for when the iPhone is announced in September. That's the basic theory behind these dummies. Now, if you're wondering why I am so confident that this is what the iPhone 15 is going to look like, well, because we've got a bit of history here, folks. For many years, I've been getting these dummies. I can't even remember when the first one was. I think it was the iPhone 10, maybe the 10s. These dummies are all from the last six years and they've all been absolutely spot on. So let's take a look at how the iPhone 15 differs to the iPhone 14. Is it the same design? Will the cases fit? Are the cameras different? And what about USB-C? Let's take a look. <sighs> the usual. Roll layer upon layer upon layer. And we have four. Four dummies means four phones. Uh, now, there are some markings on here. I'm going to see what they say. Old man glasses on. Plus Pro. Pro Max, and well, nothing. So let's, uh, so that's the uh, Pro, are we saying? Yep, Pro Max. Let's put them next to their adjacent phones. And this is the Plus. So let's start with the everyday average iPhone 15. Now, I'm gonna take that plastic off as well. Uh, is there an Apple logo under here? Let's have a look at how, what they've done. Oh, you know what they've done? They've put that dot there. Oh no, there is a logo. It's covered. Oi, look at that. Um, remember, these are not official. They're not from Apple. They are for the purposes of determining what a case should look like on the next iPhone. And I'm gonna tell you straight away there's a difference here. So let's have a look at side by side. Um, that there is the genuine brand new iPhone 14. As you can see, it's brand new because it's the yellow version. And this is the iPhone 15. So two camera system, as usual. At a glance, not a massive difference in the size of the camera system. So they look pretty similar to me. I don't know about you. But I can tell you straight up, the edges are ever so slightly rounded. Ever so slightly. Um, it's, a, it's not a fine uh, razor-like edge on the, on the 14. But on the 15... It's just this ever so slight rounding to it. Um, and you, I think you can feel it in the hand. Now, now, these are not weight specific either, so that's important. Let's have a look at what changes on top. The, the, the location of the antenna seals may be slightly different. The location of the side button, or the otherwise known as the power button, looks similar. It looks like the gap between the antenna uh, or the edges of the antenna are, is actually smaller. So it's like a one mil instead of one and a half mil um, spacer between. Um, the location of everything else looks absolutely spot on to me. Volume buttons seem in the same spot as does the toggle. Now, there's some talk of the toggle changing. I don't know. Sim tray looks the same. Let's look underneath and ladies and gentlemen, that's got to be USB-C. Let's, let's grab two cables just, just to check. All right, now, again, they're not uh, electrically perfect, but let's just show a lightning connector going into a previous dummy phone here, right? So a lightning connector actually fits in genuinely like a connector would. Does that work on here? Absolutely not. USB-C does not fit on the genuine iPhone 14 in any way, shape or form.
USB-C fits on the iPhone 15. So it's a tight, snug fit, so not perfect, but I can tell you that that is a USB-C port. I feel very confident about saying the iPhone 15 will have USB-C. So, no other things. It's very hard on these dummies to see the, the, the screen stuff. So what I'm going to do here is, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to shine, see if you can catch a glimpse in, the, in there, anywhere of, what well, there you can see just there. Let's try and work out. I think, I think what we have here is a dynamic island. I genuinely think that's a dynamic island on the standard iPhone 15. And I say that because what I can see from a kind of cutout is I can see two portions, a small bit and then another sensor, and that would be that would reflect a dynamic island. So I think dynamic island, iPhone 15, tick. Let's have a look at the plus. So this is the larger size um, phone. Now, let's be clear, we don't know what the exact screen sizes are gonna be because one of the other things which I don't believe we'll be able to tell from these dummies. Oh, actually, I think you can. I'm gonna show you that straight up and see whether you can make out what I'm seeing, which is the bezel on the 15, the edge, the metal seems smaller. Now, it's not just the metal that needs to be smaller. It needs to be, essentially, the, the screen technology needs to be smaller. The rumors are, and I think probably broadly confirmed here, that the screen will push out further. There won't be that large black edge around the screen. It's not enormous, but you know you can see the amount of edge on the iPhone 14 might be one and a half millimeters. I think it's gonna be less on the iPhone 15. So 15 compared to 14 uh, changes. Again, same thing, very, very thin um, antenna gaps. Uh, same location for all things. USB-C, uh, you know, I think we can say confirmed, and same location for all other things. Let's have a look at the Pro. Someone's gonna have to clean this office tomorrow. It's gonna be me. All right, so the Pro, wrong way around, that's the Pro. All right, so same size, Let's look at the button placement. It looks remarkably similar. Yep, button placement's the same, same deal. And again, we've got this gloss, but there's no doubt in my mind that there's a, there's a, a curve, uh, just a, a nice little subtle curving of the edge. I'm gonna say it feels thicker. It feels like not half a millimeter, not even half a millimeter, thicker, the actual, physical phone, like not up at the camera, I'm talking just down in the body of the phone, it feels thicker. Um, these chrome, um, shiny edges on the Pro models, um, as has been the case in recent years, for sure. And once again, look at the cable. USB-C. USB-C cable, iPhone 15, look at that. Absolutely no question uh, in my mind. In a moment, we'll do a, um, We'll do a test of some cases to see whether the cases match. And I think, given that it's slight thickness difference, I'm gonna check against, I feel like the standard 15 versus 14 is the same, but the Pro is just ever so much thicker, just to the touch. It's not really a you know, scientific test. I don't have one of those fancy um, fit, uh, thickness gauges. Yeah, someone's already had a crack at the, uh, the back of this one. Let's. Peel it off. Stickers all over the place. All right. So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, now, side by side, is there much to see? Probably not. Uh, camera lenses looking remarkably similar. Um, do I see any major differences there? No. When I look at the Dynamic Island, do I see anything? It could be It could be smaller, but I don't expect much difference in the island itself. Could it be thinner? I think it could be. It's hard, it's so hard for to de to demonstrate this on camera 
because it's the, the human eye that is kind of making this decision for me. But I think, I think, and as I shine a light, I use a, the old iPhone torch, as I shine a light here, one to one, I think there are ever so slightly smaller. Man, it is so hard to see. I don't know. That, that I'll leave for someone who's got a micrometer thing to, to check. And USB-C. So I think you'd agree with me looking at that. It's a bit hard to see in the glare and the chrome and the beauty of a device like this. But yeah, look at the thickness of that thing. That's, uh, that's got USB-C written all over it, folks. So one of the interesting tests here is, you know, how different are they? So let me, this is the case I'm using currently on my iPhone 14 Pro. Let's throw the 15 Pro into it. And uh, it feels like, it, yeah, it is, it's falling out. So the phone actually kind of falls out of the case. You can see it's not fully in the case. So that says to me it's slightly smaller. It says it's ever so slightly smaller, but it also says it's slightly thicker because normally this screen wraps around a little bit. This case wraps around it a little bit. So I think dimensionally we're getting a very, very incremental change. It's smaller, it won't fit in the cases. The camera bump feels like it's the same size though. So iPhone 15 Pro, same thing. Let's get some quad lock cases. These are absolutely cracking cases for your phone. I need you to stick them onto all range of things, but also just make, uh, mount some different stuff in your home. Um, so this would be the smaller phone. So let's see if we can, this, and these are tight cases, so they're not meant to be easy. Actually, you know what? So it definitely goes in, but I feel like, I feel like the cameras are not quite centered. So I feel like the, the island is actually under there somewhere, squished, and you'll see here at the top, it hasn't fully enclosed the phone and also a little bit on that edge there. So I feel like the camera is, is pushing out a bit and just down the bottom it's slightly different as well. So very incremental, very small um, amount of difference in the shape and size. But again, it's going to mean definitely no case carryover. Sorry. Them's the brakes. Look at that. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope Apple makes them stronger. This one broke just taking it out of the case. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Um, let's try the Plus. Uh, this is uh, an Apple case for the Plus. Uh, oh no, this is the standard, sorry. That's the iPhone 14 standard. So let's see that in an Apple case. Yeah, it's the same thing in the Apple case. You're not getting full closure on the top of the phone, um, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, what's this one? This is the Plus. And I think it'll be the same there. So, if we put that on there, that's the plus. Again, same thing. Along the top, it's not sealing correctly. Um, so yeah, while it kind of fits snugly, it kind of fits. It's not. It just doesn't feel as snug, and it's it's definitely not holding it in as you would hope if you've bought a case for a phone that costs a lot of money. Um, that's just awesome that it broke already, but so be it. Um, I think we can officially say the iPhone 15 will again come in uh, four different models. The iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Plus, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And they'll all have USB-C. Is this real? Is there something else? Is there one more thing? I'll have to wait and find out. Probably early September for an announcement from Apple. Uh, from Apple HQ in Cupertino. Until then, you just got to decide. Are you going to get one now or are you going to wait for the 15? Design-wise, it's, it's incremental, but I do like the, the rolling of the edge, just a very subtle rolling of the edge, um, rounding of the edge, I think you'd call it. And I hope that that screen really does push the boundaries just a little bit more. It feels a bit softer in the hand because of those rounded edges. So there it is, iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 range. Full details at EFTM.com. Like, subscribe. Um, that's the best way to support what, the work I do here. Uh, follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on TikTok. I've got you covered.